read this message from one of my friends I am Muhammad from Maldives can you mark the adjustment in ATX power supply to make a variable power supply he sent me this uh, diagram for Sunny Technologies company ATX 230 it is using TPS 5510P voltage supervisor SMPS supervisor and it have 3843 as a SMPS controller SMPS driver and there is a MOSFET and primary transformer and in this area there is standby power supply let's see the circuit in first step I will explain the function of the circuit and then we will see how we can modify it there is an input connector noise removal resistor for differential noises and then we have bridge rectifier there are two capacitors here C1 and C2 bridge resistors after that this 330 volt or 300 plus volt rectified DC voltage will go directly to this transformer winding here we have snubber circuit as a protector circuit to remove the voltage stress from this MOSFET in off period and this positive voltage are going directly to next standby section let's discuss the standby power supply this positive voltage from this main capacitor are reaching at this point this point is connected to transformer T2 primary and the second end of T2 primary is connected to this MOSFET and here is snubber circuit to protect excessive voltage stress from this MOSFET in off period and this positive side is connected to 2 mega ohm resistor and from this point 47k resistor these are connected to ground and this resistor network this resistor this resistor they make a voltage divider network and the gate will activate and this MOSFET will switch when it will turn on this ground line from this resistor to ohm resistor will pass through MOSFET and the winding positive side current will flow magnetic field will build up when magnetic field will build up now we have to see this end transformer this end will give some voltage these voltage are here at this point these voltage will proceed to this transistor base at the same time when the current will flow from this ground to this side what will happen the voltage drop will appear at this resistor this voltage drop will proceed to this base and it will turn on this transistor when it will become positive it will turn on this transistor so this ground le level will apply to the gate of this MOSFET so this MOSFET will turn off when it will turn off this voltage drop will stop when it will stop this transistor open again when it will go open again that time this resistor this resistor will come again in series in last step this resistor will bypassed how it was bypassed this this was the high resistance 47k and this was the low resistance because when the transistor saturate it become becomes as a short circuit it gives the easiest pass so this resistor will bypassed so ground level will apply FET off now this transistor open because there is no voltage drop due to open so this open the voltage drop will again reach at high value so this MOSFET will switch again when it will switch again the current will flow from this path again and the voltage drop will again reach at this base when it will off when voltage will reach drop voltage will reach at this base it will again cut off this MOSFET and this on off procedure will keep continuing when the magnetic will build up here it will cut the secondary we will find the voltage in second these voltage will rectify it and we will find this voltage in the this voltage will also also reach to this optocoupler and optocoupler will switch when it will switch at that time and this voltage from this 
bias winding will also come to base. It will become a parallel source to this voltage divider network. If the overcurrent is running, MOSFET will turn off. If the over voltage is occurring, MOSFET will turn off. These both will control the biasing of this transistor. In overvolt condition, in overcurrent over condition, the drive signal, drive pulse will change. So this is the regulation method here. So at that time, we will find the output voltage in this point. These are called SB voltage, standby voltage. So this standby voltage will reach here after these two capacitors. This section will provide 5 volt output. So this section started 5 volt output and this 5 volt output will go in the output. It is called 5 volt SB. That is called standby voltage. And this standby voltage are applied through this diode to pin number 7 of TPS 5510P. And it is voltage supervisor. It will ensure the output voltage. It will monitor the output voltage. And it is also used to monitor to turn on turn off the power supply. This 5 volt will route it to PC motherboard and it will switch back to PS on command. So PS on command green wire will receive in normal time it will keep receiving 5 volt. When anyone will turn on the computer so this line will be grounded. When this line is grounded after PS on command pin number 4 will down. When it is high, pin number 3 will remain high. Of this IC will remain high. So this high voltage, so 5 volt will apply to pin number 2 of this optocoupler. Pin number 2 received 5 volt. Pin number 1 received 5 volt. That means the both pins will get balanced. So this optocoupler will not work. When anyone applied ground, when this pin was high, this optocoupler was off. When this pin will go low, anyone will make jumper or this pin will PS on command will down. So this pin number 4 will down. So pin number 3 will also down. When it will go to ground, ground level, because FPO, this is output. This ground will apply to pin number 2 through this 470 ohm resistor. Pin number 1 is positive 5 volt. So this optocoupler will work. When it will work, the diode will start switching and the output transistor will saturate. When it will on, it will apply this ground level through 22K resistor through this emitter collector resistor to this base of this transistor A1015. If you look here, the VCC voltage generated by this VCC winding will applied to this rectifier or this voltage will apply to this capacitor this capacitor will charge now first this transistor was off it was not providing anything to the collector to the next circuit when this circuit is enabled ps on command is low so at that time this optocoupler will switch it will allow to pass these voltage from emitter to collector to pin number 7 of UC3843 IC. So when it will take VCC, it have 15 nano capacitor and 1K5 resistor RTCT at pin number 4. So we can calculate the frequency 1.72 divided by 1500 ohms multiply it 15 nanofarad 15 divided by 7 8 9 9 for nano so it will work at about 75 kilohertz about 70 75 kilohertz it will start switching to drive this mosfet at 75 kilohertz when it will start switching this transformer will induce voltage and secondaries the voltage will rectify it and we will take 12 volt this winding will provide voltage and this voltage will rectify it and we will take plus 5 volt and this end we will rectify it the same 5 volt will rectify it and it will apply to this resistor network and PGI power good input signal a rectifier set and it is connected to this 
filter circuit filter and after filter we have here a MOSFET regulator and TL431 it will ensure the 3.3 volt regulation so from this rectifier we will take minus 12 volt so plus 5 minus 5 and here we have 7905 regulator it's minus 5 volt regulator so minus 5 plus 5 plus 12 plus 5 plus 3.3 .3, and this 3.3 .3 volt sense line it is return line from PC same times this 12 volt line is coming here through passing this diode it will apply to VCC pin of this TPS 5510 IC before this it was working at 5 volt now its VCC level will change it will drop this diode will drop 0.5 volt and this IC will take 12 volt so 12 volt supply will available that means the output power is enabled and the meantime the 5 volt from this section 5 volt are arrived at pin number 6 VS5 pin number 5 will take 3.3 volt when it will take all power supplies and PGI signal is available so it will generate a PG signal power good signal power good signal that means the power supply is good and this PG signal this PG signal will provide it to PC for further action when we take output these 12 volt will apply through this 2k2 resistor to this optocoupler and the second side if we see from TL431 we have this voltage divider network it is connected to 5 volt so two power supplies are used to monitor and used to control the voltage the output function of this UC3843 when the output power supplies are okay within limit at that time it will conduct and that time the V reference V reference will apply to, to this resistor network and it will apply to V feedback see again it is connecting connecting V reference pin to pin number 4 and pin number 3 is connected to apply feedback now what we have to do this pin is the master pin which is controlling the function and this is the supervisor IC anytime you need to modify any power supply if your power supply is not working what we have to do if our ATX power supply turns on and immediately it goes off what you have to do first of all we have to locate the fault if our output circuit is bad any power supply is not working what we have to do we have to remove this resistor from pin number 3 we can say I disconnected this resistor from this point I removed this resistor from this point and what I will do we have to connect this ground line to this resistor this end I disconnected this pin from IC and I connected ground to this resistor what will happen this optocoupler will turn on directly when it will turn on directly this time if our any output is out of limit it will turn on directly it will not take care so to modify this circuit first of all in first step we have to disable this IC now the second step disconnect or remove these two diodes when we will remove these two diodes at that time the pin number 7 will disconnect it so if you will increase the voltage so this IC will not damage if you take more than 12 volt so this IC will not damage otherwise if you take more voltage and the VCC voltage go above this limit that time this IC will damage disconnect this resistor at pin number one of this optocoupler the second step we have to disconnect these two resistors from pin number one and we have to disconnect this point when we remove this point now we will do 
we will take 1k resistor 1k resistor and 5k potentiometer 1k 5k 1k and 330 ohm resistor this point will go to pin number 1 of optocoupler we remove this resistor and this point will connect it to this resistor and this point is connected to VSB to TL431 pin 1 now this end is grounded and this end is connected to 5 volt SB and this resistor this end of to coupler pin 1 so our circuit will like this this will go to pin number 1 and this potentiometer will use to adjust the output power we disconnected this point and this point will connect it to this this resistor optocoupler pin number one and TL431 these two resistors removed this point removed and this point will connect it TL431 pin number one will connect it to this potentiometer this resistor will ground it so our this power supply will convert it into a regulated power adjustable power supply must remember just remember that the output current will decrease when you will increase the voltage the output current will decrease as well second thing if you want to increase the output voltage you have to remember to replace these capacitors for higher values for example at 12 volt section there is 16 volt capacitor you have to replace it with 25 volt 25 25 volt if this is 10 volt replace it with 16 volt at here 3.3 section 10 volt that is acceptable but if you remove it with 16 volt that will more good so friends i hope so this video is informative for you if it is good you can like, subscribe and share if you want. And thanks for watching. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.